warfare are not carnal. Well, all weapons of our warfare say are say not so. carnal. Say right? so. Okay? All okay. All weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We don't go around with guns. We don't go around with weapons. Okay? Don't go around with guns. We don't, we don't go around with weapons. Uh, with weapons. Okay? What do we do need about the word of Yahweh Shabbat And you know what? Our people, our people, our people, our people, our people, our people, They actually want to kill us for bringing out the word of Yahweh Shabbat 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 Shab
proclaiming the words of Yahweh Bashar Al Shah, they hate you for that. And everything is all spiritual. They don't hate us particularly. They hate Yahweh Bashar Al Shah. Verse 5. And they said, whether they were here or whether they were forbear, for they are a rebellious house. So we supposed to teach this word whether they hear us or whether they forbear us, no matter what. And the brothers in the GMS San Fran camp did a well-pleasing job of doing it. They kept teaching the words of Yahweh Bashar Al Shah, and they was protected throughout that whole scene. That's how you know that this thing is all about faith-based and spiritual. For they are a rebellious house, yet should know that there have been a prophet among them. So the things that we are proclaiming to our people that the microchip is coming, which is the mark of the beast of the scriptures. Martial law is coming. FEMA camps. It's going to be checkpoints out here with the military. and You can't go past them or go into other areas of that city unless you had a microchip. It's going to be a great famine out here. The dollar is going to collapse. It's going to be anarchy, chaos, and turmoil in the streets of America. We glad our people know this before that time period happens. What they do, they want to cling on to this American agenda by trying to reach this American dream. They want to continue fanning their hand at us. So you have Bashan Shah, he's going to fan his hand at them when all hell breaks loose. That's why it says in the book of Luke, make yourselves accountant worthy. And that's how we, and that's what we're doing right now because we present our bodies as a living sacrifice. So when that time happens, when Jacob's trouble happens, Lord willing, we'll be protected and covered and our loved ones as well. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou doest dwell among scorpions. So yeah, how is calling these two-third type niggas scorpion? And you know what a scorpion does? You know, it'll attack you and it stings you. So he called two-thirds of the nation of Israel, he compared them to scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. So you know, a lot of these guys like to have that tough man spirit on them. And they see that we continue to stay bold in the spirit of Yahweh by Shah Shah, they be surprised at that. So by those same friend brothers showing the act of keeping the faith and continue pushing the word of Yahweh by Shah Shah, and by staying spiritual, you know that mess with that nigga's head. And he's probably getting plagued with demons right now. Verse 7, and thou should speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. For they are most rebellious. And two thirds of the nation of Israel are definitely most rebellious. These are the same people that came against our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, by saying, Let his blood be on us and our children. So those curses are back upon this generation right now. All right, this is the book of Psalm 34, chapter and 7, verse. The angel of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shai, he kept in the round about them that fear him and delivered them. And that was just a beautiful example right there. And that shows you how spiritual it was because, like the brother brought out from the San Fran camp, it was a no police in sight, but at the same time, that's how you know it's spiritual, and you seen the angels protected those brothers, you know, and that's just showing us the times that we were coming to. We had to have faith in you, how about Shah Shah, that we be protected. The only thing we got to do is continue to stay diligent and just being brotherly and just continue serving you, how about Shah Shah, and truth and sincerity. He got us. We just have to do our part as well. He's going to take care of the rest, and that was just a uh, very small example of that of many things to come and this is our forefather jeremiah you know, he was teaching our people israel you know he had that passionate spirit just like an israelite has but it got to the point that he was like man i'm tired of these niggas so he started cursing them out he put a curse on two-thirds of the nation of israel and this is lamentations the third chapter and the 60th verse that has seen all their vengeance and all their imaginations against me Thou hast heard the reproach, O Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and all their imaginations against me, the lips of those that rose up against me, and their device against me all the day. Behold, they're sitting down, and they're rising up. I am their music. Which meaning, he became as an entertainment to them. Just like when you see some type of quarrel going on with the brothers out there teaching on the streets. You see a lot of niggas just come over there just to see the entertainment of it. See, it's going to be a fight or just to hear the arguments, you know, they get entertained by something like that. But that's going to be judged upon them when all hell breaks loose. Render unto them a recompense, O Yahweh Bashir and Bashai, according to the work of their hands. So by that guy, by trying to showcase his gun to the brothers and try to threaten them, he's marked for doing something like that. So by the work of his hands, by doing that, he has been 
condemned by doing so, and therefore your Yahweh Shasha is going to take care of him. And I'm not talking about it in a good way. Give them sorrow of heart, thy curse unto them. Persecute and destroy them in anger from under the heavens of you. How about Shah Shai? And that's exactly what's going to happen to two thirds of the nation of Israel, whether it's by that famine, whether it's by those FEMA camps, whether it's by those military guys or shooting them down, or whether it's by getting raped or gunned down, something like that. It's going to be all hell in the streets of America. And that's what we try our best to do. By presenting the words of Yahweh by Shashah, by pushing his word out in truth and sincerity, so we can be accounted worthy in those times. Luke 13 and 34. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killeth the prophets and stones them that are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together as a hen do gather her brood under her wings, and ye would not. And that's just to show you that starting with our apostles, elders, and sincere brothers on down, a great millstone, are the men that Yahweh by Shashah has set up to push this word out in truth and sincerity and to help gather the elite. Because you watch these other camps, you don't see them going through certain things like that. Only those type of examples be upon the prophets of Yahweh Bashar Shai. They get threatened, guys showing a gun, about to get ready to try to shoot them, something like that. That's only with the prophets of Yahweh Bashar Shai. That goes back way before time, you don't see the prophets of Yahweh Bashar Shai went through the same type of things. It's no new thing under the sun. So, with that, I mean, I hope you all were edified. Like, give all earned glory again to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honest again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all your sincere brothers. Shalom.